Hey guys, my name is Justin Langhill. I'm a certified golf performance trainer. I want to tell you about the free roadmap that I've created for golf fitness to help you get in the best shape while also improving your golf swing. I'm sure you've watched countless videos, done challenges, taken lessons, maybe even hired a personal trainer. We don't want to get better at golf just for the sake of getting better at golf. We've seen transformations as quick as 45 days. You're doing what you're supposed to do, but also you're getting a better golf swing, and that's a dual purpose benefit. So download my new golf fitness roadmap and let me show you how your best game is ahead of you. What's going on everybody? Welcome to my channel. My name is Justin Langhill. I'm a certified golf fitness performance trainer. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna learn five dumbbell exercises that are guaranteed to improve your golf swing. Five exercises where you're gonna be able to maybe add a new movement to your routine or maybe shake up something that you've already been doing. So we'll go through all five exercises in detail and I hope this adds something to your routine, help you get a little bit better at golf. Remember, we're always trying to combine getting better with golf with the fitness you already should be doing. Okay, so I love this exercise because very often, uh, you know, we'll be at the gym and one of these will not be available. Uh, I know some gyms will get very crowded and you won't have access to a bench. So this exercise is an alternative to a, a normal seated dumbbell bench press, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab dumbbells and a yoga ball. Doing a dumbbell bench press this way is gonna help utilize our core, activates glutes, activates hamstrings, all things that are necessary, one of course during a golf swing, but something we actually don't get on a bench. So if you have the ability, kind of roll to the end of the ball, bring the dumbbells up, get into that position where the yoga ball is a little on your lower back, Okay, we're gonna have these nice and supported, glute up. So pushing toward the ceiling as best we can, almost like a glute bridge. Find your stability and begin your press. Okay, arms and elbows coming down at that 45 degree angle. Again, what you're probably gonna try to do is sag the butt a little bit, but we wanna squeeze at the top, tighten up the core. That's how we're gonna remain stable. Obviously, the heavier, heavier the uh, dumbbell, the harder. And you're just going to do a standard dumbbell bench press. But with added stability necessary, added balance with the yoga ball. So that is a yoga ball dumbbell bench press. Okay, this is a loaded open book. So this is really good for that upper spine, a uh, little, little more mobility, but adding a load to it so that you get a little bit more out of the exercise. So you're going to get in that open book position, feet open, got my knees tucked 90 degrees down here. And what I want to do is grab a dumbbell, your, your, uh, your decision on weight. I want to make sure that my legs don't come up, I want to keep them together. I'm going to extend as hard as I can, reach up to the ceiling with the weight. And then from here, I'm going to let my shoulder drop to the ground. Now, key here is to keep my arms straight. I don't want to buckle that arm. I'm basically using my back muscles to push forward and my chest and my shoulder to go into retraction to get down to the ground as best I can using that load to push. Make sure you're exhaling into the drop. Perform on both sides. That's a loaded open loop. All right, so this exercise is gonna be a Russian twist on a yoga ball, and uh, this is gonna be pretty similar to the dumbbell bench press. However, this one is more for the core, but we're also gonna utilize those glutes uh, and hamstrings as well. So we're gonna get into that same position we had the dumbbell bench press, if you remember. Okay, you're gonna make sure the glutes are tight, pressed, nice and high, tight core, and you're gonna grab the weight like so, not quite like I did that, that was pretty dangerous. Okay, and you're gonna be just like this here, extended. Okay, making sure again, glutes are pushed up, feet are uh, at a comfortable distance width-wise. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate on the ball to about 45 degrees. So, about there. 45, just rotating, ball's moving, hips are still up. That's what we wanna make sure the most, hips stay up. You're obviously gonna feel a lot of balance being put into practice here as you rotate. 
It's important to pause at the top, catch that balance, catch that stability. You want to be aware. The faster you go, the harder it's going to be. Still getting plenty of benefit going this slow. Because I get to check in at the top, make sure I'm still pressed up. My glutes are firing. Core is activated. I'm rotating. And another important thing that's often overlooked is I'm keeping the dumbbell directly in front of my chest as best as possible. What happens a lot of times in the golf swing is people will let their arms get behind them by letting the arms go and not rotating the chest. So if I start my arms, notice my shoulders didn't rotate, I'm gonna lose power, timing, number of things. But if I continue rotating with my uh, shoulders, as far as my shoulders can go, that's where my backswing should stop. What I've seen with a lot of clients is that if they are able to rotate their shoulders with their hands, makes for a better takeaway, makes for a shorter backswing, makes for more control overall in that swing. So if you can imagine, I take the club back, I'm turning, and then my wrist cock, I'm ready to go at that point, right? There's no extra added shoulders are done turning and then my arms break down and then I get it way over here, my elbow goes up, a number of things can occur that are going to end up being negative in terms of contact and especially distance. So keep everything in front of the chest, be looking at it however far you're able to turn, that's the end game. Uh, for this exercise, again, that's a, call it a yoga ball Russian twist and um, that's a really great one for core, rotation, all firing um, and making sure that everything's active. Okay, you may have this one in your routine already, but if you don't, it's a great exercise for the legs, lower body. It's called the goblet squat. Um, now, a couple ways to do this one that I've seen people do a goblet squat, you know, like this, but for this exercise, I want it right up here so that in this case, we're squeezing the chest. You have something more to do with your hands as opposed to just letting them hang. Um, and we might learn a technique or two here with my feet. So. I want to make sure that my feet are as straight as possible to wherever my chest is aimed at. That's very important. I don't want to compensate my hips by flaring my feet out. Okay, perfectly okay to do in the golf swing, but for exercise purposes, I want to know where I'm tight. I want to feel those things so that when I go to do my recovery, my myofascial release, whatever is going to be a part of that uh, post-workout recovery uh, routine, I want to feel that tightness. I want to know where my problem areas are. So for all exercises that involve any sort of squat, I definitely want to make sure my feet are pointed straight. Uh, so for again, this instance, feet are straight, dumbbell's going to be up by the chest, holding it like this, go goblet squat. Just going to send my butt back and try to keep my knees exactly where they are over the ankles. Okay, by keeping the feet straight, what I want to do in that case is start to push the knees out as my butt comes down. Go as low as I can go, and then explode up through the heels. Boom. And that is a perfectly performed dumbbell goblet squat. Okay, here's a great exercise if we want to work on speed, power, uh, strength in the golf swing and it's going to come from the ground up, right? Power comes from the ground up. So we're going to do a kind of a half squat to push a little bit shoulders, a little bit legs, definitely core. We're transferring power from the ground through our body going up. So I want to grab a weight that's able for me to lift overhead. So can't go too crazy here. Uh, should be able to curl it, get up to my shoulders. I'm going to keep my elbows in. Very important. I don't want them flared out. We're going to keep elbows in. Again, anything with the feet, I'm going to go feet dead straight as best as possible, right at shoulder width. And from here, I'm going to do not a full squat, but about a half squat. So something about right about there. So half squat, using the weight underneath my feet to push up through to my shoulders and push up. Bring the weight down slowly. That's another important piece of this exercise. Half, push up. There's going to be a little bit of a a kickback up here, but I want to catch it, bring it back down nice and slow. We're going to avoid any sort of jolty motion, nothing that's going to add, you know, any sort of unwanted movement, injury. Boom.
Okay, that power transfer is extremely important. If we can feel that here, we're definitely going to be able to feel that in the golf swing. All the golf swing is is a transfer of power. It comes from the ground. If I don't have a good firm base, then it's not going to transfer up to that move of the backswing. And then from there, it pretty much starts over again, gets transferred back to the ground, back up through to the club head. So if you don't have the proper body awareness to make all that movement occur in one motion fluid, there's no kinks in the chain, that's where you're going to develop your power, your speed, you're going to add yards to your drives, to all the other clubs in the bag, and that's what makes for a more fun round of golf. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We put a lot of work in to try to make sure that your golf swings are as best as possible through fitness. I cannot stress it enough that fitness will be the way that you transform that golf game, play pain-free, and play as long as possible. In the description of the channel, we also have a free golf fitness roadmap as well as a free sample mobility program to help you get a little bit better this off season. I want to help you because I've done it. I've been that guy and through fitness, not only do my health and wellness get better, but it has a dual golf benefit. Your swing will get better in the process. I guarantee it.